Uh, I don't know if you heard, but the Olympics are coming up in Tokyo. May have talked about it a little bit. Yeah. Danielle Michel of Sports and Sitsik Sarah. Dean is back tomorrow. We are so fortunate to have three time Olympic medalist diver Megan Benfeto and the most talented person with Portuguese blood in them on their show officially today <laughs> uh, with us this morning. She is very close. She's heading out to Tokyo tomorrow to represent Canada, part of Canada's entry of 371 people. Megan, good morning. Welcome to BT. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Megan, I guess the easy first question is how excited are you right now? What are, where are you feeling? Where's your head at? Because uh, it's obviously a big adventure over to Tokyo tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited. Honestly, a little anxious. I feel like um, we haven't traveled in so long. So to get on the plane and, and have to go through all that processing again that we did back in May for the World Cup is going to be um, exciting, nerve wracking, but uh, we're ready. I love when a diver says something else is, is nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Um, Megan, I mean, you, you just brought it up, and, and I know this is old hat for you, but for people at home, because COVID's such a story here with these games, walk us through your testing before you get on the plane, when you, when you get off. Like, what are you required to do just to be at these games initially? Megan, can you hear us? Oh, No. no. Megan. We dove into the pool of technical difficulties. Uh, apologies uh, to Where all are the of you. Filipino divers We are there? endeavoring to get Megan back. She's uh, an she's old school, great. Old she's school great. reference for Sid. Um, again, Megan Benfeto is. Th this is such an ordeal. Just get ready for games in a, in a normal world. This is this is something that you have to immerse yourself in completely. But to add some of the things involving COVID that they have to add, yeah. we're talking four tests before she gets on the plane, lands in Tokyo, which, by the way, isn't around the block. No, that's the big part, right? Yeah, that's, oh, you know what? I think, I think the story would be better from Megan herself because she's yes. the one going. We have gotten the gremlins out of the system. Megan Benfeto, welcome back. Megan, apologies for that. Uh, I'm I was, sorry. No, all good. Oh, no, good. It's, it was probably our fault. Yes. Uh, we, we're, we were, <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Um, so, again, the testing, just for people at home, how, how, like, how much, when, like, what are you looking at here just to go there? I want to say we're going to be getting tested uh, in the airport probably twice before getting to the village. And then I want to say it's almost every day, if not every two days. Um, but it's going to be a lot. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, we really don't want to have any issues. So um, we're ready for it. Megan, something I've been fascinated with watching and following Olympians throughout this really difficult period is how you've continued to train at such a high level. What did that mean for you over the past year? You have been able to compete at events, thankfully, but what were some mm -hmm. of the kind of odd training techniques you needed to adapt because of COVID? Uh, well, obviously, the first lockdown when we were out for three months, uh, I had to get creative in a condo. Um, I pulled out the mattress from my guest room, uh, did flips in the living room, um, took out some um, uh, blank, um, a broomstick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, to, to kind of make a, a, a weight uh, bar. Um, but if not, we were lucky enough to be able to train at the Olympic Stadium. They opened it on June 15th, and we were allowed to train there the whole time. So we were very, very grateful for that. Um, that's something that we really appreciate. If not, not competing was a little hard. Um, we're so used to leaving every two, three months. So uh, the fact that we didn't have that preparation uh, is a little weird, but uh, we trained hard, looked at a lot of videos, uh, looked at other videos from other divers. So that's what we had to do. Um, not what we were expecting and not the way we wanted to head up to the Olympics, but it is what it is. And I think everybody... Um, was in the same situation, so we made the best out of it. Uh, finally, Megan, before we let you go, no fans at these games. Uh, I mean, you practice with mm -hmm. no fans. I don't know how weird it's going to be for you, but there, no fans there. It's going to be weird to watch. But uh, mm -hmm. you, you have a partnership with Kraft Peanut Butter to try and kind of bridge that gap. Tell us about it. Yeah, it, I mean, it's absolutely amazing what uh, Kraft Peanut Butter is doing, uh, launching a campaign, Your Ears, Their Ears. Uh, your cheers, their ears, my bad, um, which is you can go to sticktogether.ca, uh, send your cheers, uh, and we will be able to listen to them when we're in Tokyo, which is really important for us. I've always said that um, I would rather have Olympics uh, than have people in the stands. I know it was a major concern, but at this point, Kraft Peanut Butter made the best campaign ever, which is going to be uh, to have all the Canadians cheer for us and we'll be able to listen to you guys. It's really important. Um, it makes us dive better knowing that um, our loved ones and our fans are cheering as loud as possible, but also 
letting them know that we will hear their cheers. Uh, so that's something that we're super excited about. And obviously, just the sticking together. We're Team Canada. I feel like regardless what sport we are from or uh, what side of the country we're from, I think that's what's something that's really important is that we always stick together and uh, we get to know each other and we're always there for each other. So uh, that's an absolutely amazing campaign that Craft uh, is, is doing and I'm really excited to be part of it. Well, Megan, I know you're hoping to secure two more Olympic medals. If you do that, you'd be the highest medaled diver, both male or female, in Canada. So hopefully mm -hmm. all those messages of support will urge you on and cheer you on. Where We can only wish you the best and good luck with your travels. Exactly. Thank you so much. Cheer loud, loud, loud. We will. <laughs> go Canada, Megan. All the Woo! best to you. Let's go. Thank you. Go get them. <laughs> Megan Benfeto, one of our proud Olympians. Again, Olympics begin a week from Friday. Coming up here on BT, known for having one of the best burgers in the city. You know I love this yes. segment. So happy. Cabano's comfort food has been a staple in this community. So today, we're shining a light on them as part of our Celebrate Local initiative. We're going to be trying some food live and talking about food live and smelling food live next here on Breakfast Television.